We're working on the Defender today to show you another new product we've got, which is these door hinges. So these are the door hinges on the Land Rover Defender. A slightly interesting topic. Um, what do we know about door hinges? If This is a two door, our Defender. Um, if you've got a four door, the rear hinges are the same as the front. The only difference is the top hinge has the holes mounted here. Um, so we'll show you that. Um, and the other interesting thing is that if you look at the hinges, they're on a slight angle here, and that's because the you've got to have a common axis running through, and where the bodywork steps out, so it, it's you can see the bulkhead is inset there, and then it, it goes out. You need to have a line drawn through the two hinges, so it's at a bit of a slope. So when you're fitting the hinges, you should always see this slope going from the top, and then down the bottom one. You, you can see it's got a sort of slopey angle to the side there. Right. We have got these made. Um, they're actually made from stainless steel. Um, I think they're a cast stainless that's then machined. Um, we're going to have a look at some on the on the bench. Um, we do them in two finishes. This is a hand polished mirror finish. You can see the reflection of my hand there in those. Um, on the other side of the car, we have got the brushed finish. So you can see that's sort of like the finish you get on a fridge and you can see there that's not quite so reflective. Interestingly, the new, the last edition Land Rover Heritage Edition seems to have a similar silver looking hinge. Right, that's a little bit there. So what have we got here? So these are what your hinges will look like. They rust. The other problem you get is the pins wear and also the pins rust and you get a sort of streak going down your door where all the rust comes out from the pin. Um, right, again we mentioned the hole so when you look at the hinge you'll see these hinges have got a hole. You'll know that's a top hinge because it's got the mirror mount. Um, left and right hinges are mirror image. Right, Ian's got the magnet for me. So the these hinges are sort of some cast iron industrial revolution type thing. Um, but you'll notice that there's no magnetism at all to these new hinges. So they should not rust. They're non-magnetic. They should have minimum iron content. Um, right, so to fit hinges, what will you need? You're pretty much guaranteed to need a new hinge bolt kit. So these have got the countersunk head and they've got a nice allen head they're actually not standard bolts they've had to machine them down a bit you see they're sort of flat there um, so they should sit they're guaranteed to sit nicely in um, in there and look good um, you've got the new lug nuts which form the captive nut in the bulkhead that you're going to screw these into you've got the nuts and washers that go on the inside of the door we've produced in-house some of these um, gaskets that you can put between the door um, obviously you've got the two parts of the hinge the door part and the bulkhead part and you've all we've also produced a little gasket for the wing mirror mount when you mount the wing mirror on so we'll show you how to do this um, right Go and grab your tool. So, have we got the original bolts in here? We've got we've got the later bolts in here. We've already got a bolt kit in. We've already got the bolt kit in. So you will normally have a set of rusty bolts. Sorry, um, much akin to these you've got on the rear door that I've come round to, and they will probably be a pig to get out. You can drill or cut them out, um, and we'll show you how the hinge mounts and how the how what you'll find inside your car anyway. Right, and off you go in. So yeah, you'll have a Phillips screwdriver or you'll be drilling them out. We'll show you what it'll be like in a perfect world. So the bolts in the bolt kit are stainless steel, but the, the captive nuts are not. They look like they're uh, passivated, anti-corrosive. I think that's partly because of that spring steel you need to get those spring clips to it. Yeah, it's got to be steel. I think it's got to be steel, yeah. This probably isn't the best way to do it. Ah, oh. so you think there's some logic to because you're going to end up with a door dropping off, I mean? Yeah, you can you hold reckon? it as well, though. We've you got, can hold we've it. We've got two of us, 
so we yeah. can hold it. Right, so, so that can... uh, actually, yeah, can we flip that round? Actually, yeah, let's let's show them what the story is in here. So there's the gasket, um, and what you've got in here is you've got the, you've got a little hole in your bulkhead, and you've got enough room to slide these little springy. They do like to drop though. They do like to drop inside the bulkhead. Yeah. Is that why it rattles, or is that because it's a defender? <laughs> so yeah, you bring one of those those clips over. I'll just show people. I don't think we'll. So you're saying we won't bother taking these out. So they uh, they're a pain, yeah. So what you've got here is you've got this clip that that clips up that way, and it just sort of pinches over the skin and pinches down. Um, so you've got two of those, which forms a captive nut. Um, and then obviously you've got the gasket, which you can put back on and do that. Right, so you want me to hold the door open now, Dean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are we going to go on there? Where are we on the on the outside or the inside? Oh, you could undo that, couldn't you? And we can just uh, open the door finally, can't we? Yeah, I want to do that. Oh, do I need to hold the nut on the I inside? I can do this back up quickly if you want. Yeah, go on then. I'm going to swap this one. Yeah. We'll swap this one, we'll do it properly. We'll do it properly, we'll okay. Right, I'll grab the door. Oh my god, that's heavy. Right, so on the inside we got some... You got it? Yep. Are you going to be lucky with that, or are you lucky with that? So what do we think the clever way would be to do? Take the old door off first, do the two bulkhead ones, take the door off and then do it all, build it back up? Yeah, it's probably easiest to take all four out the bulkhead. Out the bulkhead. Take the no, door, off, door off, and then do the on. yeah on, and then remount it all up together. But it is going to be a two-man job anyway. You ain't going to be. Oh, Mike, go on then. You got it. I say two-man job. I should say two-person job. That latch will hold the back of the door and hold the weight, while you do the one for the. You can simply. Of course, the people you really need to ask how to get the door in bolts out are the people that go around nicking all the Land Rover doors. They seem to do it the dead of night in ten minutes. So your long ones go through the door themselves. Okay, well we've got two different eyes of that, yep. yep. And then, okay, so what we've got on here, we've got a couple of... So we don't get new bolts for these in the bolt kit, do we? Perhaps nope. sort of... We but maybe... these are pretty good, they don't tend to corrode like the other ones do. These have been... It'd be nice to have some Allen bolts on there, though. We might have to... Do you reckon we can soup the kit up, kit up to add a couple of them in? I imagine we they can. should be sta standard stainless bolts, shouldn't they? You could put, could you put, yeah, we'll have a look at that. That's what we've got. So, we've removed that, we've removed the wing mirror. So, yeah, we're going to do it in the reverse order. So you've got to get the wing mirror, make sure you get it the right way, the right way up. Yeah, the hinge bolt should be at the, your pin should be at the bottom. Okay, on the, the door. exposed pins at the bottom. That's a good shout. No, I don't know if Land Rover, did it come with a gasket originally or? It didn't for there, no, but there's a nice new hinge as well. Yeah. Do our best to look after them. It takes up a bit of play, stops it rattling or anything. Right, yeah, so the Allen head bolts give you a little more security, but... I don't know what you do to stop people stealing your doors. You might as well mount that side back on the door, I guess. That's the reverse of what we did, right? Well, you need a gasket uh, in. You need a gasket in there. We can get that back on there. So yeah, we'll put these hinges up for sale on the website. So we'll we'll do them in two door and four door kits. We'll do them in brushed and stainless, so there'll be several listings on there for. And we'll kit them up together with the bolt kit, 
Yeah, the only bolt kits we haven't provided are the wing mirror bolts, but we'll have a look at that. Yeah, and the gaskets will be in there as well. Right, that's, that's the that's the longer bolts one that that's on the, the door. That's the longer bolts on the door, yeah. All right. Snip these. Snip those up, and then whatever. Right, I think we'll finish that off now, but I think everyone gets the idea. Yeah, um, two nuts on the inside. Two nuts the on the inside, and we're done.